Get to work season two! I'm Michael Sauer, Chief Legal Officer. And I'm Jill Wilson, VP of Media Development and PR. And we work at Scorpion, where we empower businesses. We are back on the road, getting to work with some of the most successful companies in the country. Living a day in their lives. Learning what drives them. And having a little fun along the way. And this is Get Get to work. Work! We're back in our home away from home, Texas. Kicking off season two in San Antonio. This time we're getting to work with Shane Evans, the founder of Massage Heights. I'm Shane Evans, co-founder and president of Massage Heights. Massage Heights is a membership-based massage and skincare model. The model is different than a typical spa model where you go in and you've got to spend a lot of time. You might use the sauna, you might use steam room, that sort of thing. We're really about getting you in and getting you taken care of, taking care of whatever it is that you need and getting you out so you can go back to your daily life. Shane and her husband Wayne are celebrating Massage Heights' 15 year anniversary this year. And they've grown this business to over 140 locations nationwide. And still growing. Hi, Shelby. Hi, How are you? The way that Massage Heights got started was um, December 2003, my birthday morning, I woke up to a surprise massage at a hotel in Sedona, Arizona. I went down, I got the massage, was not a great experience. It was a very high price point, and I was a little disappointed. But it actually sort of spurred the idea for, huh, maybe if you could do something more affordably, it wouldn't be so bad. So New Year's Eve, I woke my husband up in the middle of the night and said, hey, I've got this really great business idea. And he sent me back to bed. He said, it's late, honey. But two days later, we're driving cross country back to Texas. And he says, tell me about that idea that you had. And we started just, you know, writing down the concept. What would that look like? Writing the business plan. And that was really when the idea of Massage Heights was born. Hey, Shane Evans. We're We're ready ready to to get get to work. work. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Hi. Hi. Shane Evans, so nice to meet you, too. Oh, nice to meet you, too. So glad to have you. When we walked into Massage Heights, everything is perfection here. And I'm a very picky person when it comes to spas and spa treatments. And you just walk into this beautiful space. It smells so good. Doesn't it? Eucalyptus and lavender. It's already calm and yeah. relaxing. Talking about relaxing, we're going to actually let you experience a Massage Heights massage. Yay! Oh, yes. You're getting a one hour treatment with hot stone therapy and some aromatherapy to help with all of the senses. Perfect. And then uh, we're going to put you to work today. I oh, expect good. nothing less. <laughs> we'll, be more re- we'll be rejuvenated. We'll be ready to go, right? Yeah, I can't wait to see how you do giving massage on your own. We know that it takes years of experience and we're not going to be certified massage therapists by the end. Not of yet. Day, but we're going to do no, our best. Not, not even close. Oh, I, okay. I, I actually tried it <laughs> once or twice myself, and yeah. it's and it's tough. But you're going to get to see what that's kind of like to be right. able to perform that job, right? Absolutely. So that Perfect. that'll be a lot of fun. But first, I want to introduce you to Sarah. Sarah is going to be your trainer today, Perfect. and she's giving you a massage. So she's been with us for nearly ten years. Oh, wow. She was elevated to retreat director about three years ago, and she's actually a partner in one of our locations. So oh, that's great. Super excited that you guys get to meet with her and work with her. She's the best. Hey, y'all. Hi there. Hi, I'm Sarah. Bone, nice to meet you. Nice Nice to meet you. You guys ready? So ready. Good. Okay, well, come on back. Thank you, Jill. See you in a little bit. Oh, here we go. Let's do it. Today, I'm going to do a customized hot stone massage on Bone and Jill. And then I'm going to go ahead and train them on our targeted treatment. Um, It's that 30 minute um, lower leg treatment. Feel all that crunching? Yeah, what is that? Knots. Oh my gosh. So, how many years does it take to become a massage therapist? Um, I got my license in San Diego. It took me a year. 
but here in Texas, they speed it up. So it's usually about nine months. Oh, wow. But that's nine, like, intensive months. Yeah, like your full time. Go, go, go. Wow. So you take a course, then you have to do, like, an internship, externship, and then you have to hit a number of hours. So in California, it was a uh-huh. thousand hours here. It was, like, oh, wow. 650. My massage that I got from Sarah today was unbelievable. She has hands of steel and she was able to, because she knows the anatomy so well, she was able to quickly find those spots that I needed extra work. Definitely finding all the spots. I've never done the hot rock. No? They're amazing. So once we were done with our massages, Sarah gave us our uniforms and said it was time for us to get to work. And we did. Love it. I love it. You guys recognize these two? Yes, yes we Perfect. do. Walked around the corner and we saw two of our crew members sort of lounging on some chairs over here. We're like, oh, I see what's happening here. <laughs> it's my husband, Chad, the director of the show, and Katie, one of our crew members. We're going to start behind them. We'll do some shoulder compressions. And what is a shoulder compression? So shoulder compression, since you're going to use a um, little bit of your, your weight mm-hmm. um, with your arms, mm-hmm. and you'll go ahead and do a little bit of pressure Okay, going down. Wow, boom. How is that? Fantastic. (laughs) (laughs) So after this, we go down to the legs. We're going to do the lower leg treatment today. Okay. So we'll go ahead and roll their pant leg up to their knee. Okay. Am I doing it for you, or do you want to do They it? can do it themselves, or you can do it for them. So I got you. You, you, just, you just sit back and relax. These, <laughs> yeah. are, I got These you. are tight jeans, so they're a little tight. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is a Capri, Oh my goodness. Capri I got short. real strong calves, man. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hey! We did it! I think I threw my shoulder out doing that. You're going to grab some lotion, some of the massage lotion. Perfect. Okay. And we're just going to go ahead and massage going towards up towards the knee. Yep, and so this is going to be your tibialis anterior that you're massaging. You should be able to feel that muscle. It's going to be right next to that bone. Yep, this guy? Yep, right next to the bone. Perfect. So the next step we're going to do, we're going to grab our two stones. Yeah. Okay. Oh, these are fun. It's just called holding these. Oh, these are toasty. With this, you want to make sure that you do have enough lotion on the stone. So you lotion up the stone? Okay. You want to make sure that you have it so you're not gliding it and ripping out some of his hairs. Wait, you can rip it out? The, the waxing is free. <laughs> the targeted treatment you got to pay for, but the waxing treatment, oh I got you. Gosh. I got you. So I thought Bone and I were doing a really great job I thought today. we were knocking it out of the park. Yeah, and Sarah, I looked up and she had this look on her face, like of concern and like, oh, are we doing a good job? Um, it's kind of painful to watch. Um, <laughs> it does take a profession to do this, but you guys are doing an okay job. It was nice. She came over and kind of instructed me, but there were times where I could tell she just kind of wanted to jump in and and show me. And again, that's just because she knows so much more than I do. Yeah, so normally after this, um, we'll go ahead and let them know that the session has ended. I will actually talk with Shane and let her know how you guys did. Other than that, I think you guys did pretty good. So good job. Yes! Like Sarah. I would probably let Bone and Jill give me a massage just because I love massage so much. Um, I probably would have to walk them through it a little bit, though. Hi. Hey. How do you feel? Good. So good. Good, amazing. good. Hey, Shane. Feeling good? Oh, that was so amazing. Awesome. So amazing. I'm glad to hear. I want to hear all about it. Let's sit down. Deal. Awesome. So Sarah said it was absolutely painful <laughs> watching you guys that bad, huh? try to give <laughs> massage. We did target treatment. We did the shoulder and the, and the feet. And, but I could see on Sarah's face just her wanting to just take over just and do it for us. jump in and show us the proper way. Well, it takes a real skill set and an understanding of the human body, mm-hmm. right? And so just we can't just go in and do what mm-hmm. they do. 
What experience did you and Wayne have in starting a business prior to starting Massage Heights? We didn't really have business ownership experience ourselves. We had, we ran businesses for other people. Wayne had a pretty big responsibility with a very large national health club chain, mm -hmm. okay. uh, which is how he and I met and where I got my membership-based sales management experience as well. And mm -hmm. so just the combination of our experiences through growing up with our families and the small little businesses that they had and kind of seeing mm -hmm. that entrepreneurial spirit and learning it, and then the business experience that we ended up getting, um, you know, in our early 20s and 30s really helped us develop this plan and under understand it. Did you have a membership business in mind when you were first started Massage Heights? We did. So the membership model was set up so that we could actually project revenue, um, forecast marketing, forecast scheduling, all of those things. And because we have that commitment from our members with that monthly fee, and it's a very low monthly fee, right we're able to keep the additional service costs down. Great. So it's just a great business That's model a great from model. a model perspective, but the model really works for the guests and members. It helps people realize that, hey, this is something I can't afford. I should be doing it. It's not a luxury. Right. It should be part of my health and wellness routine. And that's, mm -hmm. I think, the most attractive part of it for, um, for both the business owner as well as the consumer. When you decided to open up the first Massage Heights, where did you get the capital investment for that? So the first Massage Heights, we had some savings, we had a 401k, not a whole lot, but we had something, savings for kids, college, you know, right. tuition, all of those things we pretty much leveraged. But you believed in this so much that you're willing to risk all that. Absolutely. We opened up the very first location in Alamo Heights, April 4th, 2004. This location was a teeny tiny little location. It was only like 920 square feet. We had four rooms, but when you leverage everything you have, failure is definitely not an option. So we had to make it work and we were trying to split family responsibilities and the work responsibilities and we had these little girls and I would work with the nights or come in on the weekends and we'd split going home and taking care of the kids. It's those little things in the beginning where you're just, you know, you're buying the minimum. You're grinding. You're, gr you're grinding. You're asking friends and neighbors and everybody to <laughs> help you with your children. I promise it'll pay off for yes. you. Yes, yes. my Thank mom you. and dad, I mean, they were just so important in that. Just, I think it's really important in the beginning to have a network of people that really support you because unless you're going out and raising capital or have a lot of, right. you know, have a lot of it laying around, yep. you, you do it on a shoestring. Most entrepreneurs do. That's how business gets, gets right. started. And so I don't think anybody should ever wait for the right time because there is no right time. The right time is now. The right time is now. That's exactly right. But we knew that we had something really special right from the get-go. People were saying, when are you going to open another one? Can I get involved? Are you franchising this thing? We're like, what's franchising? Right. We hadn't anticipated franchising. Right. And so we opened up the second one in Stone Oak, which is another area of San Antonio, which is where we lived. And we really had our kind of roots. And um, that was nine months after the first one. So Opening up nine months? Yes. So with the profits wow. of the first one, we were That's able really to start, you know, securing a lease and leasehold improvements and all of those things and started building six months after that first one and opened it nine months later. And then eventually in 2007, we started franchising the opportunity on a national basis. Wayne better give you like a high five every day that you came up with this genius idea. Uh, well, Does Wayne give you high okay, fives? Okay, hold on a second. So I might have had the idea, but he's the co-founder and Really, frankly, if it had not been the two of us, we we would not have been able to make it happen. It's taken a you know a full team as any business yeah. business does, and then it takes, gosh, the therapists that believed in us mm -hmm. in the beginning, it, the the franchisees that believed in us in the beginning. Mm -hmm. We certainly wouldn't be where we are today without all of that. So nowadays, women are opening businesses more than ever, but 15 years ago, it wasn't that way. Do you ever think about how far you've come and? everything you've done that's inspiring to so many other women? I think as an entrepreneur, you you often don't take the time to reflect, but I hope that I'm an inspiration to my daughters, first and foremost. What do you hope your daughters have learned from their, their mom? I hope that, that they learn that they can just be anything that they want to be. We are all made for so much more mm -hmm. than what we think we are. And it's just a matter of, of knowing what that is that you want and putting your mind to it, saying, I'm gonna do it, and just focused and diligent in that. And so that's what I hope that they, they get from me. You're gonna make me cry now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so good, yeah.
What has been the most fulfilling aspect of creating the Massage Heights brand? It's amazing to be able to offer opportunities to nearly 5,000 people across North America. Wow. Um, and, and that's about how many people we employ amongst all of our franchises. And um, to know that we are able to touch that many lives and to help them live their lives better through their employment with us is really, really, really rewarding. You are clearly inspired to help other people. How else does Massage Heights help other people? We really encourage our franchisees at the local level to get involved uh, in philanthropy, so something that they really care that's near and dear to their hearts. We also have a nonprofit organization that we started called the Heights Family Fund. And the Heights Family Fund was set up really to give to our team members in need. So the team members across the nation, nobody in our corporate office, but team members that work in the retreats, mm -hmm. um, if they're in a crisis situation. So like last year, for instance, we had all that flooding in mm -hmm. Houston. And we awarded grants to over 50 people. Wow. Just to help them. They've lost cars and homes and clothes and all of those things. And so the Heights Family Fund is our own nonprofit organization that just gives back to our own employees, which Fantastic. I think is super unique. That's great. Something else that I'm super passionate about is the San Antonio Zoo. And uh, I'm passionate about the zoo because I grew up going there. I have so many childhood memories. I love what we're doing as far as conservation goes across mm. the world. So it's not just about building up this zoo, obviously educating people about you know animals and animals that are potentially you know going to be extinct if Absolutely. we don't take care of them and what have you. But that's right. just something I've really become passionate about and enjoy giving back to in my spare time. It's fun, it's evolved a lot and it's a beautiful place to go. And so I would love for you guys to experience that with me. Would you like to go to the zoo? Like right now? Like right now, what do you think? Let's go. Let's go to the zoo. Let's do it then. All right, everybody, we're going to the zoo. We're here at the San Antonio Zoo with Shane Evans, her husband Wayne and their kids. You know what? I've got one last surprise for you. What's this? What is this? I've got something really fun planned today. Tug of war with the lions. What? Whoa. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. My name is John. I'm with the San Antonio Zoo. I am one of the lion animal care specialists that helps out here. You guys ready for this? Yeah. Yes, we are! Yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. pretty wild up. So yeah, let's basically, do it. when you're playing tug of war, the main thing is keep your hands behind this knot at all times. Last thing you want to be known is three-finger jack, right? <laughs> you don't want Fair that enough. to happen. Tug of war against the lions, this is definitely a bucket lister. All right, I'm gonna be yeah, anchor. Lions don't have a chance. Yeah. Oh, here we go! Oh, That's not a problem. Let's go, buddy. All oh, right, guys, here we go. Ready. Oh, you don't have a chance! No <laughs> way. Do they like to do this? Oh, they enjoy it. <laughs> has has it anyone today. ever won before? You know what? No one has, so guys, <laughs> I want to wish First you the time. best of luck. We're gonna the standard. First time for everything. About. I agree. <laughs> this is Joshy and Tony, so they're ready to go. All right. Oh, we got two? Like, oh, okay, cool. one, two, three, pull. Oh, come on, oh, man. Man. Oh, come so on cool. you can do it. Let's do it, everybody. Let's do it, everybody! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! All right! You got them! We won! We won! The first time ever! Congratulations, guys! That was amazing! Good job! Good job! Good job! You truly have humbled the lions. You came into the lion's den and you beat them. Honestly, I'm very shocked. I don't know what I'm doing <laughs> right now. Great our Wheaties this morning. We're awesome. Wayne is strong. Wayne is rated 12th in the world, everybody, in CrossFit competitions. Just FYI. Uh, CrossFit extreme over here. <laughs> 
So Shane, we want to thank you and Wayne and your family for coming and spending the day with us and letting us into your business and letting us into your life. And we just want to thank you so much for spending all this time with us. We got you a little something. Aw, yeah. So first off, you'll see <laughs> right here, here's a little scorpion pin. I see that. So everyone that's on the Get to Work show always gets a custom scorpion pin. So we did that for you. So there's that. And this is the gold. Nice. Wow. Thank you, also, you guys. Absolutely. Sure. Should I open it now? Absolutely. Okay, yes. great. Oh, oh, cool. Wow. We got you a crystal elephant. So the, oh, my goodness. Awesome. So the elephant, of course, Beautiful. is going to represent the time together here at the San Antonio Zoo. Elephants never forget. No. And we are definitely never going to forget this experience with you and at the zoo. And the reason that it's crystal is because Massage Heights is celebrating your 15th year anniversary, and crystal is the element that represents 15 years. I had no idea. So congratulations. Thank you. I'm so thank proud you of you guys. So thoughtful. Thank you very so much. thoughtful. I love it. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. So nice hanging out with you and your family. <laughs> yes, guys. Group hug. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Great job, everybody. If you enjoyed this episode of Get to Work, don't forget to like and subscribe.